Welcome to another exciting edition of the program. This is the Counter Diary. We're telling the untold stories of Liberia. I know you've been watching and uh, thinking about coming to Liberia, what are Liberians doing? A lot of things happening in this country. Because today, I'm going to be showing you a beautiful house. Not a house, a whole compound. The Nigerian say my compound. So I'm going to be showing you somebody compound. Uh, this person lives in the United States after years. They did a very big investment in Liberia. You know, something that you guys, when I call my friend, they say, we don't own home in America. After some time, they have to take your house if you're not able to pay your bills and all the other things that come with it, mortgage. But in Liberia, when you build a house, it's for you. It's not for any other person, but it's for you. So today, um, I'm somewhere in my shop, my Gibi County. This is not Maserati County, my Gibi County. So I'm just driving towards uh, somebody. Uh, we're not going to be calling the name. and uh, She's going to be telling me, exactly what motivated her to come as far as Maggie County to build her home in this place. So keep watching. If you're watching us on KM TV, thank you. Those watching on YouTube, thank you. If you're on Facebook watching, thank you so much for always watching. And if you're on Boss TV as well, thank you for watching The Counter Diary. And uh, my man Abdul is with me today. So we just, Abdul went to my people. <laughs> Yeah, so we just were kind of going there now. As you can see, we're driving on this road. And um, so, madam, welcome to the Counter Diary. Thank you. All right, so we're driving to your resident. Um, you care to tell us exactly uh, how long you live in the, in the States? I lived in America since 1993, but before America, I lived in Portsmouth, England. Okay. And four years ago, I moved to Liberia permanently. And some people would say that we got everything in America, we got everything in England. What brought you back to Liberia? Um, because we have more here in Liberia than we do in America and um, elsewhere. But a lot of people won't understand when I say we have more, mm. but you have to go through what others go through after you leave Liberia. But there was a song, or there is a song, I don't know who the artist is, but that artist says, never forget the road that leads you home. Okay. And that song is powerful as far as I'm concerned, because I did find the road that led me home. And the thing I love about being in Liberia, yes, there's stress here, but there's stress everywhere. Mm. But the thing that I love about Liberia, the number one is we don't have mailboxes. So once you don't have mailboxes, <laughs> you don't have bills. Oh, wow. So um, yes, I can live comfortably in, in America, but I can live a more comfortable life what I have here in Liberia, I couldn't afford it in America. That That's for sure. Yeah. But, um, and then number two, why I moved to Liberia, because you make a big difference in Liberia as a professional. And here in Liberia, every bit of your professionalism, how to clean, how to smile, how to talk, makes a difference in Liberia. And you are you in Liberia, and you're not just a number. But here, everybody knows me, and everybody respects me. Why? Because I respect people here in Liberia. And um, I won't trade it for anything right now. Thank you guys very much. All right, so um, somebody will say, uh, why you didn't just uh, do 
Montserrado County. Could you just turn down the volume a little, a little bit? Just turn it down. Okay, why, someone will say that, why you couldn't just stay in Montserrado County, but you rather came to my Gibi. Yeah, my Gibi right now has a lot more space, and I love my space. Say, for example, the house that I have in the land is about three acres, and I love to have my space, and I love peace and quiet, and I love the fact that it's less polluted, polluted than Montserrado. So, um, going out in uh, Liberia, whether you call it a village or whatever, that's the way to live because of the clean air. Here in Liberia, you still got the trees, you still got the woods. Uh, where I am, we do see monkeys around here oh, wow. and they come to my house. And um, yes, in America, it's very, very developed, but here we got the pure oxygen from the trees. As you can see around us, we have a lot of trees. So I just love it here for the privacy and for the for the clean air. All right, all right guys. So you heard, don't just say Montserrat County, come to Mikey County. Uh, so we're gonna hold you all right there, guys. Let's go quickly now. We'll be about, we're just about to enter uh, the area that I'm gonna be showing around the house. And then uh, uh, the reason we're doing this is that Liberians out there, if you don't know, those in the diaspora from Liberia are the middle class in Liberia. Yeah, so when you come here, uh, you are actually a middle class person already. So whatever you're doing in the States or the UK, Australia, uh, just think about building something home here. Yeah, you come, you become a king or a queen. So just think about our country, like Libya. But we're gonna show you around. Keep watching. This is the counter diary. Okay, so I'm currently out of the car, and uh, this is the entrance to the house that we're going to. I uh, just show you how this way look, and yeah. So the first thing I like about this place is that when you're entering, it feels so natural. So you have the, the front of the house and um, this place look more like a resort, you know, so the furniture has a garage, yeah, parked three cars and also other stuff can be parked right here, you know, and then uh, at the back, the beautiful place. I don't want to show you that she's not going to be in the video today. Yeah, so like you have this way and then um, you go to the back, she has this um, solar place has been set up for the entire house for electricity and then uh, we're going to the other side and this side is so beautiful you know what i love about this place she's just making it simple like those of you in the states <laughs> you say you want to do something now, right here when you come this way you see the beautiful view of the beach why you have a place to sit down and i like the fact that uh this is yeah you will just sit here and then relax yourself in a hammer. And that is playing music out there. Oh my God. I love this area. And then uh, the guys are still working on the house this way. And you can see the front of the house is beautiful. And they are still doing some more work on it. Well, let me speak to my colleague. Come on, man. Let me talk to you. <laughs> they may have the one say that you want to relax. Why are you going to play Abdul? What? The place is very beautiful. Uh, 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 it's amazing to see such a building in our country, our beautiful country, Liberia. And I just want to thank you for making Liberia beautiful. 
Because and you know, there, there, are people, yeah, there are people who are out there, they think that, you know, nothing good is in Liberia, but Liberians are coming back. So I'm going to stop at Duya. Let me just show you around, show you the front view of this side, right. uh, this way. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this way, you see, like I'm telling you, the front of the building, so cute. And then, uh, what I love about this place as well is that you have your own, like, it's a sunny day, so you want to relax. Uh, they have a pool here as well that you could just relax in the swimming pool. And uh, you see, see the guy doing some work up there, trying to do some finishing touches on the, on the house. And then uh, here you have your pool, so you don't have to worry. And I was told that uh, this pool here was actually built by Liberians. And you see the guys who are working. Yeah, so this is just by the sea. And the other side, you can view the Atlantic Ocean. So meaning when you're upstairs, uh, you can actually see the Atlantic Ocean. And we're going to go to the beach. There's a mini beach here. <laughs> so this way, you can see the guys still working on this building. And uh, this is actually my favorite area in the whole place. I love to, you know, to just hang up around the pool so you can swim here literally. And it's a good thing that you, when the sun is hot, you just relax yourself here. And so you can see at the back of the house is like this cool area. And this is more like a paradise. And this is just uh, by the pool side, right? <laughs> more like a bar. So you can have some drinks, uh, trying to set up the place. Yeah, you can have drinks here. And I love this. The Ludu is here. You can just play Ludu. Yeah, maybe you can stand with your friends after swimming, you can sit here. And then you have this playing beautiful melody. Let's me play a simple house and a place for you to relax as well. So this is the counter diary. We're telling you the untold stories. And then um, this way, yeah, so if somebody comes to visit, you don't have to go in the house. There's a bathroom for you. And then uh, there's also like a mini garden for growing of uh, food stuff. It's right here in this garden where you can uh, actually relax yourself. And then uh, just, yeah, so I see they also started planting some stuff. I'm not gonna go in there, just to stop right there. And so Liberia is getting better. We are getting there. And I do not want us to go to the beach. So we take a walk. All right, so uh, we walk into the beach, like this side is open. It's like a more like a canopy walkway. You can walk down here. Oh, I love the stairs already. Walking down the stairs. <laughs> I'm doing all the tourism adventure, right? And I like it. So when you walk down, you walk down the stairs. And this is more like, a, you know, going to the forest now. I haven't seen this in like for a very long time. So let me see, let me show you the stairs. This is how it looks like. This way. Yeah, yeah, seems to be like we're going to the Baza. Huh? Seems to be like we're going to, no, this is walkway. Oh, yeah, going to like the Lagoon. Baza, right? Yeah. So, nice. we're walking to the beach. And I like the fact that she's been able to maintain, you know, the vegetation here. So we get to the beach. This is like a private beach. So you come up here and you see the beauty of Liberia. Oh wow. So you have your own private beach. And then uh, something is here, Abu. <laughs> yeah. So while we're on the beach, we walk it down. Uh, so you see the house is out there. And uh, while you're upstairs, you can actually see downstairs and it looks directly on top of the Atlantic Ocean. And she got this right here. How's it? So you want to come for something like, you know, picnic, all the other stuff. The whole family can hang out here. Wow. Guys, thank you. So we live in the beach. 
I know some of you are interested in seeing what is in the house. It's time for us to enter the house. All right, so um, we're done with uh, going around the house, going to the beach, you've seen the nice pool. And then now uh, the owner of the place is going to be talking to me right now. Yes. <laughs> so let's go through the front door. Okay. So we have your guests enter the front door okay. of the house. Okay. Okay. So what inspired the design of this area? Actually, this design, my husband and I came up with it ourselves. Hmm. You know, we've built a couple of homes in America previously, but when we came, the I mean, the beach and the, uh, the scenery of the woods and everything inspired our design. Okay. So it, we just fell into it. You won't find this house design anywhere else in the world okay. because we came up with it. Okay. Because um, it's what we do. We love uh, putting our stuff together in, in Liberia is where we could express ourselves the most. Okay. So yeah. we're about to enter this house and now you love it. I love it too much. <laughs> so welcome. Oh, wow. Welcome to the house. Wow. So we have an open concept and the living room, the kitchen, the office, my Ludo corner. <laughs> yeah, you love Ludo? Love it. Because I saw I saw I saw the Ludo in the in the bar over there. <laughs> exactly. And uh, I just so, and I've seen some um, Exactly. And then this is our kitchen, our laundry room, our pantry. But if you see the kitchen, it doesn't have a sink. Why? Because I don't want dirty dishes out here, so we have the sink and the laundry room. Wow. Yes. So the kitchen is here. And then you have the laundry room. So you just do everything, yeah? Yes. And then this and way? And then there's a pantry. Pantry, you just... But, uh, yeah, and another thing, if you notice, we don't have a lot of doors. Okay, We Why? just do a lot more archway because more doors enclose the house and we really don't care for that. So the two sides of this house, each of them has a guest bedroom and then upstairs is a master suite. Uh, but the, one of the biggest thing about this house is a hundred percent. This house is a hundred percent solar. Solar energy. So a hundred percent. We don't rely on LEC. We don't rely on generator. Even though we have a generator that comes on during the rainy season when we don't have enough light. But it only comes on to charge the solar. Oh, wow. So it charges it for two hours and then it goes away. And then this is our bar. But what I want you to understand about this bar and the office, it was all built here in Liberia. So all the, all the, all the, the material used are local and, material. And, and local built. Wow. Yeah. So we have Liberian artists who build these things. And the office as well is built in Liberia. Okay. But a lot of people would think the art on the walls are all stickers. But it's a young, very young Liberian guy, all the way from Bomi, self-taught art artist, never went to a formal school, and he does all of this art for us. Wow. I just like the office here. Yeah. Even the office desk was built in Liberia. And the artist built it in a way to look like a beach. The sand, the water, and the rocks and stone, but that's the effect. This, you can see it is like a wave All in right. the water. So you got another place down here that you want to show us? Yes, I would love to show you guys the solar room because oh, okay. like I said, that's my pride and joy. Mm. That's where we spend the most money and it was worth it. Okay. But this is our solar room, and like you see, it's a gigantic uh, setup, oh, wow. but it's 24-7 electricity. We don't owe anybody any bills. We don't pay any bills to anybody, and we have nine air conditioners that run all day, and um, we love our solar. Wow. And I will show you in one of the guest rooms. Because both of them are the same uh, idea. 
Mm. So again, every art you see is by that kid, the Liberian artist. But both of the guest rooms are set up the same. Oh, I think I need to I need to come and spend some time here. Man. I love the guest room. <laughs> I really have fun in love the guest know, room. And each of the guest room has its own ensuite bathroom. Oh, wow, this is this is great. Thank you. Thank you. But like I said, huh? I couldn't afford this in America. So huh. In Liberia is where I'm showing up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so let me see. I want to see the I know your, your beautiful view. Because uh, the dogs are up there, they will go crazy. Oh, okay. So we just stop here. It's good. Yes, please. All <laughs> right. So, uh, okay, guys. So you've seen this beautiful place, and um, before we, uh, you know, we we'll let good of you. Um, there are a lot of folks, and you see this beautiful opening here. You can be here and also see the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, before we go. Um, what is your own message to other Liberians out there? You know, people are thinking um, that uh, the uh, one thing let about the US other, and then enjoy ourselves. Yeah, the one thing about that I would say to other Liberians, I would I would confess that I was afraid to move back to Liberia because of the unknown. Mm. But that's the same as dying. Everybody are afraid to die because they're afraid of the unknown. So come back to Liberia and and remember what we used to have and still have, and live a beautiful, comfortable life. I mean, if you look out there, we don't even have it sealed up. Why? Because Liberians will, not to say they're bothering you, or they're coming to steal from your house or something. No, nobody cares. Everybody respects each other, you know? That's so, good. Thank you so much, and uh, I just want to, you know, Tap into your blessing you so that all of you, you know, you will be inspired by your video. Thank you, you so much. You're so welcome. All right, so uh, we're just showing around this place. This house is so beautiful, and uh, I just want you to think about when you say you come to Liberia, like you said. I mean, this country, uh, nobody bothers you. You don't worry about criminals and things like that. You feel free. You can go anywhere, and uh, you got solar, no bill, and then you don't think about mortgage. Every month to pay, this is actually for you. My name is Emmanuel Kotu. If you enjoy watching this video, please don't forget, hit that subscription button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Any other thing you want to reach out to the owner here, uh, just drop your message in the comment section and we'll see what you can get in contact with her and you can show you the way as to how you can come to Liberia and also do what she has done here. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah.